Imagine if you were so distraught with Star Wars Episode 7 that you kidnapped Harrison Ford and forced him to remake the movie in your basement. So is the case with Stealing Solo, a Captain's parody, the newest comic book from world-class bullshitters. Stealing Solo is a parody of Star Wars and Hollywood in general. It's only available through Indiegogo for a short period of time, and once it's gone, it's gone. There's tons of perks and awesome gifts to get at each level, so sign up today to guarantee your copy of Stealing Solo before it's too late. This video is also brought to you by the Galaxy Ascendant series by Yakov Merkin, a new, grand scope, action-packed space opera series. If you're disappointed with the current state of the galaxy far, far away, come visit the Galaxy Ascendant. Books 1 and 2 now available on Amazon.com. And the 2017 Golden Stake winning Undeadly Secret series, now available on Amazon in digital and paperback. For fans of True Blood, Underworld, and Blade, when they are awesome. Warning, the themes depicted in this series may be too intense for some readers. These vampires don't sparkle. Links in the description below. The following is a world class bullshit is exclusive. History tells us that a man's legacy is built from the premise that within his life, the moments lived become a piece of his history. This past week, Ryan Johnson cemented his. Not as the director of the most disappointing Star Wars film, not as the man with the roundest of heads, but as the single most petty man in Hollywood. Period. Ryan Johnson has now become the thing he hates the most. A man. I mean, bully. I mean, bully. Back in June, Ryan Johnson was riding high on his virtuous steed, Kathleen, calling out those who criticized The Last Jedi in the wake of the Kelly Marie Tran harassment situation. Man baby was the phrase I believed he used. He would take to Twitter to slay all of those who dared even think about disagreeing with the narrative of the Man Baby Massacre. Even the media began calling for White Knight Johnson to become the voice of reason in keeping the toxic portion of the fan base at bay. It seems like Johnson accepted this duty, right before his Saturn Award, and all was well. Star Wars has slowed down a bit outside of the trash trailer for Resistance, and the focus was closing in on Episode 9. Or so they thought. Fast forward to the last week of August, and Ryan Johnson has been exposed as a full-blown hypocrite. A YouTuber who gets his Star Wars content from the future, Mike Zero, is the first known victim of Ryan's rage. A little-known ailment that only affects grown men under 3 inches. What did Mike Zero do? Well, Mike speculated that Ryan's trilogy, you know, the film the world is literally dying to watch, has been cancelled. The fandom menace rejoiced, but one worried weenie took to Twitter for confirmation where the exalted one Ryan Johnson himself answered. Within a couple of tweets, Ryan Johnson's virtuous tower he had built for himself in the wake of the Kelly Marie Tran harassment saga that spanned from June 5th, 2018 to June 12th, 2018, crumbled. The situation is nicely summed up from MovieWeb. Earlier this week, a fan asked if Johnson is still working on his trilogy. He simply replied, yup, which was followed by a fist bump emoji. It was only later that Ryan Johnson learned that Mike Zero was responsible for the rumors that Johnson was leaving Lucasfilm and that his upcoming Star Wars trilogy has been tossed in the trash. And this caused a reaction from Johnson that was quite unexpected. Wait, fake laughter. This is all because of Zero? Fake laughter. When we were in production, we had a guy keeping an eye on online rumors. At some point, we started using Zero as a verb, like, throws trash at the basket, but it slips out of your hands and falls behind you. Zeroed it. Shortly after Ryan Johnson made these tweets against Mike Zero, he deleted them but not before they were captured for posterity by a couple of prominent Star Wars YouTubers who couldn't believe that a Star Wars director was going after the YouTube community in this way. And many have come out against Ryan Johnson for this bullying tactic. Well, folks, that's the kind of man-baby Ryan Johnson is. I'm not here to defend Mike Zero. He saw this coming from the future. But I am here to call attention to what a hypocrite Ryan Johnson is. That's the problem when you use a celebrity as the moral compass for a large group of people. What we know about Ryan Johnson, the public figure, is a very small percentage of the real man. And the part that's publicly known paints him as an insufferable person who gets off on the annoyance of others. He's probably patting himself on the back over this whole situation right now. They say turnabout is fair play, so in the spirit of sportsmanship, I'd like to throw out a new phrase exclusive to world-class bullshitters. If you consider failing to complete your goal, zeroing something, I'd like to go the extra mile and make Johnson did a verb. I went to propose to my girlfriend, but I dropped the ring, broke her nose, burned her house down, and killed her cat. Man, I really Johnsoned that. I fucked up beyond all recognition. I went to a job interview this morning, called the boss's daughter fat, insulted his cologne, and spilled coffee on him. I Johnsoned that interview. Some would say that's harsh, but look at what he did to Star Wars. He killed off Luke, made a joke out of Leia, and derailed the hype for Episode 9. He really Johnson Star Wars. The man is a walking mistake. Every step he takes causes a problem for himself and the entertainment industry. One could look at this situation and feel sympathy for Ryan. He had a shot at the big time, the single most important entertainment franchise in history, and... 
He Johnsoned it. I, for one, don't have any sympathy for him or anyone over at Lucasfilm. I can see people disliking a movie and maybe coming out to defend your vision, but the PR for this whole movie was Johnsoned at every point. They attacked us verbally, attempted to belittle us, and just all around treated us like empty husks good for one thing. Our money. Thankfully, we know a little more than Johnson and his crew are letting on. If you pay attention to the Star Wars news, the truth slips out in small doses. First, we heard that Ewan isn't involved with any Obi-Wan Kenobi film, even if he is interested. Then we had crew talk about a film they were working on that would have seen the return to Tatooine. They later went on to say that it's not happening. Then Disney essentially canceled all non-saga films. Then they said some were still happening. Then they went silent. All the credible rumors began to swirl after Grace Randolph came out with her leak about the meeting at Lucasfilm. You know, the one where they said Cray Cray KK was in deep doo-doo butter and on her way out. Thanks to Grace Randolph and the trail of crumbs left to us through multiple articles, we know the Lucasfilm crew is on edge a bit more than they're letting on. Just this Friday, Uncle Ehi himself made a video about his inside source that discussed the state of Johnson's trilogy, and it isn't happening. He Johnson did. So now the big question is where do we go from here? Clearly, Star Wars Episode IX is barreling towards us, but the hype train is coming at us a little slower than usual. December 20th, 2019 is the release date, D-Day for Star Wars. Episode IX is facing stiff competition this time. The sequel to the surprise hit Jumanji, Welcome to the Jungle, opens the week before, and Wicked, the film based on the hit musical, is released the same weekend. Or so we thought. As of the 31st of August, Universal announced that the film adaptation of Cats is now taking the December 20th, 2019 release date, and this news comes from Collider. Sorry. Tom Hooper's Cats is really happening, you guys. The Oscar-winning King's Speech filmmaker is adapting the long-running Broadway musical with a star-studded cast, and now Universal Pictures has given the film a December 20, 2019 release date. That's when Universal's Wicked movie was also scheduled to bow, but that film has now been redated to accommodate the production schedule. Hooper followed up the Best Picture winner of the King's Speech with a different star-studded musical, Les Miserables, and while that film wasn't the Oscar juggernaut that some were expecting, it still performed solidly, winning three Oscars in total. For Cats, Hooper has assembled an ensemble cast that includes Taylor Swift, James Corden, Jennifer Hudson, and Ian McKellen. And now this is where it gets interesting. The December 20th release date is the same date that Disney has staked out for Star Wars Episode Nine. There's no way Star Wars moves, so Universal is purposefully doing a bit of counter-programming here. Look, I'm not a musical fan. I don't know much about Cats, besides it's been talked about my whole life. So a big budget production is going to bring people to see it and possibly cause Star Wars to take a hit. I mean, look at the people behind it. The Scott Medicines of the world would like to give Solo's failure a pass because Deadpool 2 opened a week after and cut the legs out from underneath the picture. Well, riddle me this, Scotty! What happens when you have a sequel to the most hated Star Wars film in history opening against the big screen adaptation of a Broadway musical, a sequel in a beloved franchise, and two years of constant fan bashing? You have a failure of an opening weekend. Folks, Disney Johnsoned this whole thing. So this whole Ryan Johnson snafu is quite interesting. This seems like a man on his way out with nothing to lose, who's going down and trying to take everyone down with him. Like I said, I don't know much about Mike Zero, I've never seen one of his videos, but it is pretty petty for Ryan Johnson to go out of his way to talk shit about a YouTuber. It's even more petty that the production of Star Wars The Last Jedi used a YouTuber as a joke the entire time. It just goes to show you the atmosphere behind the scenes of the shittiest movie ever made. Say what you will about Mike Zero and his future Star Wars content, but it is pretty shitty that those at the top are making fun of the little guy on a daily basis. So folks, let's have fun. Let's make fun of this whole situation. In the comments below, write me your best Johnson situation, your best Johnson scenario. I gave you two. Hell, I gave you three with the whole Star Wars saga right now. And I'll read the best ones this week on the podcast. And while you're writing your best Johnson situation, let's take a moment to talk about Stealing Solo. If this is the first time you're hearing about Stealing Solo, well, you're in for a treat, because Stealing Solo is the Indiegogo campaign here on World Class Bullshitters, and it is kicking ass. By the time you're hearing this, it hasn't even been a solid two weeks, and Stealing Solo is already at 91% of its $20,000 goal. Stealing Solo is the story of a group of Star Wars fans who are angry at the current situation of Star Wars. They kidnap Harrison Ford and force him to remake Star Wars in their basement. Now, this is a parody of the entire situation, a parody of Star Wars. It's a satire of the entire Hollywood system right now and the legacy of Star Wars. So if you like entertainment, you like to laugh, and you love comic books, Stealing Solo is perfect for you. You still got plenty of time on the Indiegogo, but you don't want to miss out because once it's gone, it's gone for good. I'm not going to be putting this out in stores or anything else after October the 20th. So that is when Stealing Solo goes away forever. But if you're one of the hundreds of people who've already backed this campaign, thank you very much. And make sure you guys keep looking out for updates from me here on the channel, as well as the High Council. It feels good to be back doing these single videos, because right now is the time where you need them the most, where I need them the most. I need to come out and talk about this Ryan Johnson situation the only way I know how.
by pointing out his mistakes and making fun of his round head. But in all seriousness, folks, it is petty, it is stupid, it is sad that you would go out of your way to make fun of the little guy. Ryan Johnson's the little guy in most situations, so I guess this is his one time to feel big. But hey, that's life, and you just gotta accept it. So thank you to everyone who watched this video. Make sure you share it, give it a thumbs up, tell everyone about World Class Bullshitters. If you're a super fan of the channel, make sure you're a patron for a dollar a month. You get exclusive access to content, five bucks a month, which is only 17 cents a day, gives you access to all kinds of stuff, as well as a couple gifts, and the perks go higher and higher. And in case you're wondering, no. If you join our Patreon page, you do not get access to Stealing Solo. That is a one-time thing, only on Indiegogo. I'll be back this week with more content here on the channel. Maybe I don't get my Star Wars content from the future, but I get it from a pretty reliable source. So come back next time for more.